Okay, chapter 7-1, multiplying monomials. What's key word here? Multiplying and monomials. Who can tell me what a monomial is? I, honestly, if you know what a monomial is, you, you probably shouldn't at this point, so don't feel bad. No. <laughs> okay, a monomial is a number, if I could write, it's a number, it's a variable, or a product. of a number and variable. Notice that it doesn't say it's a sum of a number and a variable, so there's no addition involved. It doesn't say it's the difference of a number and a variable, so there's no subtraction involved. It doesn't say it's the quotient of a number and a variable, so there's no division involved. It's either a single thing or its multiplication. For example, let's make a list. Okay, somebody give me an example of a monomial by what you just learned. What? 10. Okay. Michael, give me another one. X. X. Chris, give me another one. 25. 25. Let's go. We've got the number. Let's go a little deeper. How about how about 25 X? Is that a monomial? Yes. yes, because it's the product of a number and a variable. It's multiplication side by side. Okay. Something else. 26 Y. 26 Y. Let's go even further. Okay, let's go 26y to the second power. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Uh oh, see what just happened? Is that still multiplication? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now let's use these and let's make things that are not monomials by using the stuff we just did. Okay, Cameron. Twenty five X plus two. That's addition. That is not a monomial. Very good. Cooper? Ten over X. Ten over X. Man, Cooper went for the fraction. Big guy on campus. Absolutely. That's right. Ladies, take notes. Okay. That's division. All right, which makes it not a monomial. Let's do one more. Dallas? Y minus Y. Y minus Okay. Y minus Y. Actually, no, I can't do that. <laughs> why? Good question. Here's, here's why I can't do y minus y, because what is y minus y? Zero, Zero which is a monomial. I can't add these together because they're not like terms. I can't divide those because I can't. So give me something else. Y minus x. Y minus x. Okay, I'm all right with that. Okay. So again, number, variable, or product of number and variable. Any of this other stuff? Not a monomial. Okay. So now let's multiply them. This is going to be real tough. You all might want to get your calculators out. I'm just kidding. That's sarcasm. Okay. Let's look at some examples. All right. Six times six. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Kinsey? 36. All right. Now, watch what I do here. Okay. What is 6 with an exponent? 6 to the 6 to the first power. And this is 6 to the first power, right? What is 36 as a power of 6? 6 squared, right? 6 times 6 is 36. Would you agree? So when we multiply monomials that have the same bases, what do we do with their exponents? Add them. 
because 1 plus 1 gives me 2. Okay? Hold that thought. First question, are they both monomials? Yes. yes. Are they like bases? Yes. yes. What do I do with their exponents? Add them. So this is x to the seventh power. Okay, now we don't know what x is, so we can't go any further. Okay, if I had that problem, do they have the same bases? Yes. yes. What do I do with their exponents? Add them. Add them. So this is 4 to the fifth power. Now, in this case, I need to actually find out what 4 to the 5th power is. I couldn't do x to the 7th power because x is an unknown. I know what 4 is. Okay, so 4 times 4? 16. 16 times 4? 64. 64. 64 times 4? 64 times 4? 256. 256 times 4? Yeah, I don't know off the top of my head. 250 times 4 would be 1,000, 1,024, 1,024. Those will be wrong if they're not simplified. Okay. So now let's combine them together. 1,024. Now let's put a number with a variable. Uh-oh. Let's make the magic. Okay. What do you think? What would you do right away? Uh, we only combine like terms when we're adding and subtracting, so be careful there. I think I know what you mean, but I want you to go a step further. You could multiply the... You could double the 3x to the second... No. Nope. We're, miss we're missing something really, really simple. The, the, keep going, Mike. I think you're on it, Michael. You just got to tell me. Nope. What do we always do first? <coughs> what do we always do first when we have numbers and variables? Get numbers. On. Numbers. We always work numbers first. So take 6 times 3. 18. 18. Okay. So we take the numbers and we multiply them together. Now, the numbers are gone. Do I have like bases? Yes, so I have x to the sixth, okay? Okay, so on the second example, what do we do first? Addy. Um, multiply, multiply 12 times 4, what do you got? Ooh, 48, there we go. Okay, so 12 is gone, 4 is gone. Do I have like bases? Yes, yes. so I end up with z to the 11th. Now, I keep saying, do I have like bases? What if I don't have like basis? Okay. 12y squared times 4z to the fifth. What do we do first? Multiply, Multiply the numbers. 12 times 4? 48. 48. 12 is gone. 4 is gone. Do I have like bases? No. no. So what's my answer? Read it with the 48, Dallas. Read it. Oh, I don't see any plus anywhere. Do you see a plus anywhere? Careful on the plus. Cooper, what do you think? 48 y to the seventh. Uh, no, because they're not like bases. Remember, we can't add them. 48 y to the second power times z to the fifth. Or simpler put, 48 y squared z to the fifth. Done. Can't do anything with them. So I just put them side by side. Okay. Yes, ma'am.
Which one did I not multiply? The third example where it was four squared times four to the... That one? Yeah. Well, I did multiply the numbers in the end. Because oh. in the end, I did take four to the fifth power. This is just a little different look. Okay. Yeah, I, I understand. That's a good question. All right. Um, here we go. All right, what's the very first step? Alexander, what's the first step? You do know, because it's the same first step as the last two problems. What's the first step? Uh, multiply, the multiply the numbers. Perfect. Don't say it in a question. Say, multiplying the numbers. Be confident with it. What's 4 times negative 10? Anybody? Negative 40. Okay. All right. So let's put like terms together. What's x squared times x? X to the third. Oh, who said 3X? Nobody did, right? Everybody's like, it wasn't me. Okay. What is Y to the fourth times Y to the fourth? Y to the eighth. What is Z times Z to the eighth? Z to the ninth. Done. Okay. Put the like terms together. Add the exponents. If there aren't any like terms, just put them side by side. Okay? Those of you who were scared of this one, a little bit better now? Okay. Feels so much better. All right. Now. Now let's mix it up. Okay? Okay. What does 2x squared in parentheses to the fourth power mean? How would I rewrite that? No. Close. I like 2 to the fourth. You're half right. Michael, uh, yeah. don't tell me the answer. I want to know what is 2x squared to the fourth power. What is what does 4 to the 4th power mean? 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, right? So what does 2x squared to the 4th power mean? Uh, it means 2x squared times 2x squared times 2x squared times 6 squared. Do you agree yes. with Michael? Yes. I do. That's 2x squared to the fourth power. This is what we just learned. So what would we do with the numbers? Multiply them. 2 times 2? Two? 4. Times 2? Times 2? 16. Okay. Do I have like bases? Yes. What do I do with their exponents? Add them. 2, 4, 6, 8. x to the 8th. Okay. That's at its basic form. Now, some of you will see a pattern here. Okay, where Ashley was going, she was on the right track. She said 2 to the 4th power. Guess what 2 to the 4th power is? 16. She was on the right track. Now, the x squared to the 4th power, we don't add those. We multiply them. Okay? So, do you see the difference between these two? They're the same. They're just written different. Some of you will write it out this way. This is the way you want to keep it. Some of you will recognize this is a power to a power. Okay, so let's do another one. What did I just do before? 4 to the 5th power? I'm going to do that again. That way, that way we know what the number was. Wasn't it 4 to the 5th power a couple problems ago? Where we got the 1,024? Okay. 4 to the 5th power. We did this a couple problems ago. That ends up to be what? 1,024. Okay. Lily, what is x squared to the 5th power? 
x to the tenth power. And Ashley, what's y to the third power to the fifth power? y to the fifteenth. Okay. Now, for some of you, you're going to get confused between the two. What I would tell you is this. Any time you have a variable, or excuse me, an exponent that's not connected to a variable, you multiply. Remember, the only time you add this exponent is connected to this variable. This exponent is connected to this variable. That's when we add. There is no variable that's connected to that. That's when we multiply. So you have to see the two differences. Okay? And that is it.